for the first time. Um, they come out of the mold like this, you know, just injects down through the middle. So you have an injection sprue or an injection runner that kind of forms a little knob on them. Just cut it off, cut it with a razor if you're going if you think you're going to sell them. This isn't really a seller's bait though. This is more of a fisherman's bait. And but if you're going to sell them, you could always tell them, "Hey, that flat spot is where you put the hook when you're wacky rigging it." Um, let me show you the inside of the mold. I don't know if the, how well this is going to show up on camera. But if it doesn't show up very well, I'll snap a picture and cut it in here somewhere. All right, let's uh, talk about the basic rigging. My basic thought on this is that most people are going to look at it and go, oh, that's a wacky rig. And this is as good a wacky hook as any. Um, but before we rig it up, and let me show you there's a couple of ways to do that. Let's see if we can get a weight on it compared to a 4-inch Clubo. Now this is another mold that I make and sell. Um, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but that's saying about 0.23 ounces. 0.25, so they're about a quarter ounce, the Clubos. Now this is a 5-inch bait, but it's thinner on the end, so it comes out to almost exactly the same weight. So you should be able to throw one of these effectively on the same rod that you can throw one of these. Now let's get that scale out of the way here and I'll show you some of the rigging. My thought is most people are just going to punch a hook through the middle of it and fish it. They're going to toss it out there wacky rigged, you know, heavy salt, soft sinking, and just toss it out there and fish with it. Now, as you can see, I put the hook in parallel to the wings. See, the wings are wide this way and narrow this way, so it'll hang that way. And I figured, just so you'd get a little bit different action in the fall, you could turn around and hook it perpendicular to the wings or the flats, and it'd hang this way. And it would no doubt fall a little bit differently in the water column. Maybe one day that's just the difference you need for uh, to make the difference between short strikers and biters. Anyway, obviously it's going to fall just a little bit different, depending on which of those ways you decide to rig it. But that's not all. As soon as I made this, I started thinking of other options. Probably the, the first thought I had was, gee, this is a nice slick body bait, well except for that blob in the middle. Let's just cut one tail off or one wing off and we'll use it for flipping, you know? Now, this is what, what I something that I would ordinarily flip. That's called an RFLT. It's got a long thick tail but it moves really well and it tends to not tear off in the trash. Anyway, you're going, you're going to flip with it with that little old bait, that straight body bait, well the thing is, is baits with appendages and ridges and big old floppy tails and everything are hard to get down through when you're pitching back in the really heavy cover. But th something that's slick and straight will go right through, often with much less weight than you're using on, on a creature bait. If I was really get going through heavy trash, I'd, and I didn't want to throw a ounce, ounce and a half, two ounce punch weight. I might just go with a rig like that. Should just go right through. There's nothing to hang up, as opposed to this, which also goes through the brush really well. But if it's really heavy cover, this needs a little bit more weight to get through it. And then there's the other thought. Well, golly, if we cut that tail off, we've wasted it. Well, you haven't really. I mean, I guess you, you, you could you could say that. Now, I made some, and that other one was too. This is with regular plastic, not soft sinking, so it's slightly buoyant. Uh, but I was thinking for a very finesse bait, you just take one of these, cut it in half right in the middle, and you've got two little finesse baits that you could put on a finesse jig of some kind. Something, maybe something like this. Just th 
thread it on there like you would any other bait. And boom, you've got a little finesse rig. And then we were talking about just cutting off one tail. Well, I've got one here with one tail cut off already. And you could easily put that on something like, like a shaky head jig, like this one. this Texas rig on that shaky head. There we go. Now you got a little shaky head set up right there. Uh, so there's a lot of flexibility to just one bait. Um, people always ask me, what mold should I get first if I want to get started? And I always tell them, get something that's something you already like to fish. Uh, but I'll tell you, this might make a good first mold for some people because there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Haven't quite figured out a topwater with it yet. Maybe a small super light wire hook or something, I don't know. But it does a lot of different things. Now your next thought is, well, how much does the mold cost? Well, go to my website and find out, cncmolds.com. Uh, and there are the prices on there. But if you're not into that, you have a chance to win one of these for free. As a matter of fact, you have a ch three chances to win one of these for free. I have three channels on YouTube five minutes on the water and I have not yet started the, con the, the contest for one of these free molds on five minutes on the water. CNC molds and stuff where I usually do a little machining, mold making, uh, maybe some plastic injection, stuff like that, some basic bait making stuff. And then my personal channel that I just throw everything on, fixing machines, working on stuff, playing, shooting, whatever. Anyway, my personal channel is just my name, Bob Lalonde. There is a video on the Bob Lalonde channel and on the CNC Molds and Stuff channel that's about designing, making and using, and then there will be a third one on fishing with the baits from this mold. And you just go to that video, uh, subscribe to that channel, and type in enter me to win in the comments below that video, not this video. Well, that's basically it guys. If you have other ideas about how to rig and fish this bait, please feel free to share them in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider hitting the thumbs up button down below. If you'd like to see other videos about rigging and fishing different baits, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching. I hope I was able to show you something that you hadn't seen before, maybe how to get a little bit more out of a deceptively simple bait.